Well, we're going to leave retro and go back into the future with Andrea Bishop from the Electric Quilt Company, who's going to show us how to plan our quilts using the computer. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about what you have on the screen here. Well, today I want to show you how helpful computer software can be um, for quilt designing when it comes to printing patterns. Okay. This one is a friendship quilt, very basic quilting 101 kind of thing. But what you do is you grab your big black select arrow over here and you just say which block you want to print. Here I'm going to try rotary cutting and preview it. So the nice thing is, software takes the math out of quilting. So it actually will go ahead and give you your seam allowances and all those right. important it saves things on, you need when you're piecing. It saves on, you know, the brain power and having to think about, do I add 7 8 to my triangle? Mm -hmm. So you print them out onto just regular computer paper and you have all of your information there. Right, so here's the picture of the quilt so you know which order to sew the blocks in. Mm -hmm. It's very important for when it comes to rotating things. Your yardage so you know how much fabric to buy, how to cut out each block that's in the quilt, and that's the basic directions for this quilt. Oh, now see this looks intriguing because I have a hard time when I'm piecing circular uh, pieces of fabric. Right. So here's Anything an idea curved. of um, when to use templates. You can print out the templates for curved piecing and it actually makes putting the pieces together very, very easy. Well, that's really good to know. And so these are all for this, for this quilt. Right. And uh, it'll blunt the edges so that it'll give you an idea of how it fits together. But if you wanted to do applique, you could use these for that as well, or even not take, take out the seam allowances and just go ahead and do raw edge applique. Right. You want to see one of those on the computer? Sure. Okay. Let me close this and close that. And here is a very basic applique quilt. It has an applique design here in the center and it has um, applique up in the border. So to print this you just select it and you say print templates. Um, and that's what's feeding out of the, uh, the printer once again. Right. And you can turn off seam allowance if you want. The cool thing is these days with inkjet printers you can send just about anything through. It doesn't have to be computer paper. So you could actually print these on freezer paper if you wanted, because freezer paper has a flat side. Mm -hmm. Just don't print on the shiny side, because then all the ink will come off right. on your thumb. Okay. But um, if you print on the flat side, you can print just about anything and then make your quilt from that. You're saving a step of not having to trace all your pieces on the freezer And you paper. can also print right on to uh, like a stabilizer, for right. instance. And this is a foundation for... fabric that um, tears, mm -hmm. but you can also leave it in for things like the crazy quilt and here. This, for crazy quilting, this is great. Well, Andrea, I want to thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. And I'll be right back.